If you've been here a while, you know that my parents' house burned down, my childhood home. So this farm was built in 1754. Back in February 2021. Back then a friend of ours set up a GoFundMe. And this video is to update the people who donated. But I thought I would put it open on my YouTube because a lot of you were invested back then. You might want to see what their house looks like now. That is not finished yet, but let's check in with them. Today is the day that our new home was supposed to be finished completely. Well, it's not completely finished, but we're almost there. So we're going to give you a sneak preview of how far we've got with your help, of course. Yeah, thank you very much for all your support. We felt so secure by all the messages and all the, all the money that rolled in. Actually. Yeah, we felt so supported and guided almost by uh, by this help that came from everywhere and especially from, well, money-wise in, in this fund that you contributed to. From around the world. So, thank you very much yep. again and again. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. But let's, let's have a quick look. As you can see, no doors yet, but if you look at the walls, the plaster work is almost finished and the, the ceilings are cladded in wood the stairs have been placed I'm very happy with the beautiful staircase we had installed just last week this is obvious not ready yet but i love the gold details here the floor is already ready but these coverings are waiting until all the men have gone finally out of our home <laughs> this is to be our living room and kitchen we're ready for a party today because he's 70. Ooh, and all his family clean. is coming. So coffee and tea are ready and nice things in the fridge. The most important thing here is this beautiful heater. I don't know how you call it. Stove. This is the beautiful wood burning stove. Not ready still, but see, this is going to heat the whole house and the water. Plastered in cob, look, it goes all the way up and uh, it's the warm heart of the building and it heats the whole thing together with some panels on the roofs, of course, for the electricity. And look at the shiny bits that make <laughs> me happy. It is little bits of shell. Look, the shine little rainbows. Then we move upstairs. As you can see here from the outside, it looks beautiful. The inside, the rooms are very, very light and beautiful as well. And I love the colorful floors that they chose. Can you see how different the effect of the floor is on the walls and the ceiling? Shocking bathroom. Shocking blue, you can say. It's going to light up a little bit when it dries out, but it is blue indeed it is going to be a mermaid bathroom you don't know yet uh, I, you told me <laughs> you're going to paint mermaids all over <laughs> which is nice and here is our bathroom purplish very smooth it's a um, moroccan wall finish padelact is in saying padelact in english same and word okay it combines with the flooring. Even though unfortunately the house itself isn't round because that was just too pricey, they made sure to create some beautiful rounded walls inside. This is a wall to their bathroom. This is going to be our bedroom with a view. If you talk about room with a view, well, we've got one here. You might say all is well that ends well. And finally, resting on our outdoor area, which is almost finished there's just a little light that needs to be installed but basically we can sit and relax here welcome guests today for the party of our <laughs> 70. 70. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you very much again for contributing to our well resurgence you might say from this uh, resurrection resurrection okay <laughs> from this sort of catastrophe, this, this bonfire that was laid our house in ashes. And look what we've got now. Thank you so much for being here as always. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a nice message for my parents if you want in the comments, I'll make sure that they read it. And let's end with some beautiful drone footage that Amadon, one of the workers, shot for them. Mm -hmm.